cable bill. You see, all type of bill. You have car note. Yo, you see, 15 bill one time. And a one job you have. One job you have. Me need some of them people if you come on and come wise up enough of these people. Because... When I make a friend of the family of Jamaica feel like so not have it. No found I put yourself in a debt for proof to people that things are going on. When I put yourself in a debt for proof to people say, I want to tell man a foreign this man everything, Chris man. When them get them visa and them say them I buy them ticket and come. I want to do me a favor. If you know you cannot accommodate them for three months, don't tell them come to your yard. You don't need to start tell people on your mind. Stop act like and go on like. Show people say listen to me and I saw it go. You don't need to show people how it go for real. Because everybody have them time where they want to be by themselves. Everybody have them time where they don't want to see people. Everybody have that time there. So when bringing somebody into your own space, you're going to have to adjust a lot. You live in a small dwelling. And when you live in this small dwelling, you say you invite, whether your cousin, your sister, whosoever you say you invite, one of your friends you invite them. You're going to spend more because you have to buy more food because you have guests. You know, normally cook every day. When you cook Sunday, a Thursday before you cook again because that food will last you three, four days. Then they know this because you don't tell them. So, you know, I forgot to buy more food. You have to buy more Capricorn. You have to buy more Sunny Delight. You have to buy more Arizona. You have to buy more. Hawaiian punch, you have to buy more fruit punch, you have to buy a whole type of, you have to buy a next case of water. Because normally that case of water there would have served you, say, two weeks. Now you have a guest at your house. Because we know, say, foreign people don't drink from the water, the pipe. They don't drink tap water. They drink bottled water. See? And... Stuff like that. So, when you go to a man work off a budget now, you have to go put yourself in a one different page. You have to go put your, your, yourself around a one part. All right. Your body wash when normal with a last your face. Sometimes you have to have body wash. Yes, rag on them something. They are not a problem. See? If you take up a, if, if you take up a person, so sit down and say, Rich, my father beg me a money and me tell him I don't have it. Call me and do some business. Him say a foreign me there and I can borrow a loan for do my business. Okay. You know why I'm saying that to you? You know why I'm saying that to you? Because you always make it a work. Because you always make blood out of stone and I make it work and I send it to game. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why I'm saying that to you. Because remember say you never tell him no yet. He no used to you telling him no. So when you go tell him no, when you go tell him no, he don't know that word there. Oh, you have to tell me no. Go borrow a loan. See? So, this are the foreign part, you know. This are the foreign part. See? You know, say, you would have got work and remember saying that every work. And every work, every day I'll be the same day. Whether you work in the hospitality part of it, or you work at the daycare part of it, or you're a teacher, whatever it is. You work at all day work, you come home and you want to throw down yourself. You wouldn't want to talk to nobody. You have to go talk to this person, yeah? And if them come to your yard and not treat your place like how you normally that treat it. Suppose you're nasty. Right? Suppose you're nasty. And them come and clean up your place. I wipe your floor and I come and wash your plate them and, and I come go on. Who is them? And what them I do? Try to tell you say you're nasty? When you don't know say you're nasty? Who is you? You're bright. 
Right away you start a problem and a cuss and I say, so you wash up a plate for? Me never tell yourself to come wash no plate. Who is them for you come talk about them and put cup in a this one, plate in a this one, that in a this one? Who is them? I bright them right. You not spread up your bed uh, every six months your bed spread. Your bathroom not clean how long. And them come both them come come clean your bathroom. You bright. What you do? Some of them good have the man man come in at them yard. And you go there there. Them man got uneasy because you don't know so them have six man. You don't know so there's a little workshop them have there. No, brother, I don't instigate. I just say suppose. I don't, I don't, I just reason why I reason. I just show you some little thing. Remember, you know, people living in our situation, it's like hard for them to change from the situation there, you know. So, for instance, your, your SOD, you know, is a neat freak. And then this person you come to your yard. And when they come to your yard, they must sit down in their chair like they must sit down for one part too much. And you say they must sit down on one part of your chair too much. They find a special part. And they must sit down in the other part. So right away you now, you say, you know, know me tell the person if you come on my yard three months and three months. This is just the first week, you know. This is just the first week. And a three months that person you have spent. Three months this person you have spent. See? Three months this person has spent. So now I feel just learn say, see me and live with me a two different things. Don't tell nobody about nothing I go on a foreign. Cause they not go believe you know. Make them come see for themselves. Don't tell nobody about you go see where you can go on. Because that's automatically saying, yeah man a shy, look how I go give it. Just link me back to a clock a shy. Don't tell Jamaican people that. Don't you ever tell a Jamaican man or a woman say, you're going to see what can go on. Don't you ever open your mouth and tell nobody say, you're going to see what can go on. Are the worst thing that you could tell a Jamaican. They're going to call you 37 times. And then you are going to tell them, say, you don't get through with nothing yet. That's another confirmation again. So you say you're going to give them. So now you have to look on your phone and ring and don't want to answer it. Feel girl guilty in yourself. You know you never have it. Why you never tell them? Why you never tell them? How much I want to do it already? Don't do it again. I know everybody will laugh guilty because you do it already. You don't do it already. Don't do it again. Remember, say you have some people who never go foreign yet, but when they look online, they can call you and tell you, say, Macy's have sale. Abercrombie and Finch have in sale. Deswa have sale. One of the wickedest things I got always talk about this. A girl asked me to buy a phone for her one time. She said she had give me the money. She said she's giving me a hundred dollars and she want a nice phone. Hear me now? Two me have too much sense. Hundred dollars can buy a phone, my girl. She said yes. Me see it on the TV and T-Mobile. Tell her say a hundred dollars for the phone. Remember she never got airport yet. And she tell me, say, T-Mobile. And she say, $100. So, $100 can buy the nice Samsung phone. $100 can buy her a nice Samsung phone. And she never got a airport yet. You hear what I say? Not knowing that, when you're with Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, Boost Mobile, any one of them, and them have them advertisement there on the television, you have to be with the company a while and pay your phone bill on time and all of these things. 
right? So you have the insurance on it where you can upgrade your phone every year or you upgrade your phone two year, every two years. So you, you, can, you pay that $100 when you are not ready to change your phone and just give them whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't know that part. Them just see the $100. Them just see the $100. This is another thing you have to go explain. Remember, we Jamaican love phones. We want every type of phone. Once you live a foreign, we want a phone. Anybody that come from foreign, I teach you something again, every foreigner, you need to learn. You need to learn. Careful how you ask people what you have to bring for them. Because they are going to tell us that they want a phone. Or they are going to send you a Gucci slides. Or they are going to send you one of the Pull over them with Rihanna and a baby father wear. Or them are going to send you something where one of the top fashion people them wear. You got to be careful. Remember England people them? You know you can go in a river island. Because river island and one nice brand where we like it. It can't fit everybody still. But river island things them look good. England people them. And not all like one time when everybody had tell about bring clocks and a clocks alone. Now the girl them ask the ear. Them say Nicki Manaj in the ear and them want the Nicki Manaj ear. Cause Nicki Manaj ear long way down in the back gone way around so. Rapunzel style. You understand? And them say Cardi B with want something and want something and them want the Cardi B something. And them know exactly which part Cardi B go go get it. So you must go there, go get it. Because them see the store and them are going to send you the site where they pan. So get that for them. So one somebody you tell say you come to Jamaica. One person you tell say you come to Jamaica. And for them list alone. And all your money where you work for the whole year. You have to go spend on that one person there alone. You think like one time when you can't talk about you never bring soap. You feel like when you can't bring soap for nobody more you again. We have the whole of the soap them. We have them. When you can't bring the soap, come give it again. You have to bring ear and phone. And remember, say, we have to tell you, say, video call me when you're there in the place. Because smartphone we have now, we can WhatsApp call. So you have to video call me when you're there in the place. Because you, we don't want you to buy the wrong thing, we want you to buy the exact thing. You hear what I say? The answer them says she don't look good there because she not just up in a long year. How you say, and them say you live your best life. Spread off in a water and dash out in a sand. Somebody does tell me, say, I lie me, I tell the man. Somebody does tell me, say, I lie me, I tell. Please, because everything when me I say, all foreigner. Remember, say, me not live a foreigner, me go to it. That is why them tell us that when you live in Jamaica and certain rural, you don't tell people when you're going away and don't tell people when you're coming back. I teach you another thing on enough to do as foreigners. Careful of who you tell us you're going back to Jamaica. Because you will go back, you will go away with one empty suitcase, and when you come back, a six suitcase you come with, and it's only the carry on is your one. Be very careful. You will come back to Jamaica with seven suitcases. And only the carry on, the little carry on is your one. And the people who give all of them something, and them don't even give a dollar for pay for the suitcase. And you realize that you go through customs and immigration and all kinds of hassle. And you wonder what you're doing in life. Things like this, it break a lot of friendship. Because them try to play upon your conscience. Them no look and say them give one big heavy suitcase to carry down for feed them family. You have your family and you can't barely carry something for your family. Be a people and then when they reach Jamaica, them give everybody your number and the people them just a call you down. So you're not even get for breeze off yet. Not even fart yet, never fart at Jamaica yet. So when coming to Jamaica. Don't tell nobody. 
tell selective people. Because remember again, you know, I need to teach you this again. You will bring down a phone for somebody, custom set the phone, and them say you thief it. You will, them will put game in it, them will put appliance in it, them will put all kind of things in it. And them say you thief it when them custom stick it. And your name they all bought by internet say you thief them something. And a custom stick it and say you have to pay how much million dollar feet, you know. And a customs. These same people where you claim were your friends. Custom take the things them with them buy and them say you thief them family things. Now you have to defend yourself now. You have to defend yourself. You hear me say? You saw nobody now laugh now because they know say the shit just hit the fan now. You don't know say the shit just hit the fan now, you know. Because one thing I can tell you, customs know the price of them are everything now. And I like one time, bam, Google this, oh, that's something you have, that phone you have, all your ear, where you have bring a Jamaica now, customs know them, the value of them, it just all depends on who you buck up, and you have bring all your own ear, and them say, I sell you, I sell it. You have to wear them for your own ear. You own a ear, you own a Indian ear. And I like one time, when I say a child, and I like one time, every goddamn thing where you bring a Jamaica now, you have to have your receipt for it. You have to prove it. Not now, we not now, that's where boy ya. You hear me say? Mills you have to pay. Anyway, I tell you something else now, come and see a video this morning. It disturbing. It disturbing, but I don't know how much I want to see it yet. But it's very disturbing. I see a girl stab her baby father in her neck. Stab him in her neck. What's up, Grammy buddy? And I don't know how to feel, but a whole heap of people in some toxic relationship. A whole heap of people, toxic, toxic, bad. Enough time is not the man, is the aggressor. Because in this case, the video show you the man a video it as she stab him in her neck in front of her mother. Stab him in her neck and run. Remember, say, all him said to her is, Mommy, ask her to leave the yard because they have, have a court matter with the baby. They have a child together. You hear me say? When I see the video, he never angry, he never cuss her, he never diss her, he never do none of them something there. I remember him a video are you know I him video her. I don't know what she used and stab him but one stab in him neck him get one stab and me na me not think a mental a mental mental health that I don't think that's a mental health issue that's ignorance that is ignorant The way the man come all when she stab him, man say, Mummy, you know, she stab me. Mummy, you know, she stab me. And she stab him, because come like a go, she go for go stab him, you know. See? So many times when you see some things happen, sometimes it's not the man, it's the aggressor, the woman. I don't know the situation or it go, but a whole heap of people in some toxic situation were very toxic, bad. One of the most disturbing things when we see again, the seven year old little boy with them find dead with a chap in his head, a bush, and them say, Mother, do it. No, he's not dead, them say in the hospital, he's not dead. I don't know what is going on. There are a lot of people in the world who is craving to have a child. They cannot and they've been trying for how long? Umpteen years. While you have some girls out here in Jamaica, as you say, who that? Them get pregnant. As breeze blow. 
them pregnant. This young seven year old baby don't live no life yet. A bush them find him. With a wound to him head. When them question the mother, the mother account now. Nah. Like our explanation and our story now nah add up so them lock her up. People in the community say she kill him. And them say she did have another picnic where she kill. So may I try analyze it as an outsider and I say I wonder if she and the father them not get together again and they remind her so much of the children of, 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 of the father so she take it out upon them but that's a wonder because them find your child and them a interview her and it's like you know see that something there you know when you look for the mother they might drop down and I, even though you have some people are good actors you know you have some people can pretend well but it never go down well with the peace officer them and the police them But when me a child say, if you can arm a child that you have in your womb for nine months, seven months, eight months, how long you want to have this? From you can arm that child. What you would do to me? What would you do to somebody else if you can arm your own child? Anybody, whether man or woman, if a boy can molest him, him, him own a daughter or him own a son what would you do to a stranger what would you do to a stranger you have some people are very revengeful and you have some people who really have got through a mental breakdown mental health have a lot to do with a whole heap of things but you have some people them bitter that have nothing to do with mental health I will leave people bitter towards the baby father. Like for instance, a woman say, yo, me and him the 14 years. And as me and him left, him got a married girl. As me and him left, him said no one no more pitney. And as me and him left, him gonna go get more pitney. Him for dead. A lot of men are like that too. So it's not a one-sided thing, you know. People and a, and a whole, this is a two-sided thing. We are a lot of people. Not because you're a person that's been together for many years. When you've been together for many years and it not work out. We have to learn to cut our losses. If you're a man and you had a woman and you feel like say, Oh, she done her front not feel like how it used to feel again. You get tired of her front. And you left her. Or she leave you. When you left her, she's supposed to mash up and just dead for your pass a road and say, watch the dead dog. From me and her left, look what she done. You don't expect you to find love again and live her life. Why you can't happy for your partner or your one-time spouse or your ex or whatever you want to call her? Why you can't happy for that person? Or just see them and go like you know, see them. Just move on with your life and just go find your happiness. Because guess what? You was with the person for how long and you was not happy. And now this person... You and them break up. You supposed to be happy, you know. You supposed to find your true love now. Woman for happy and man for happy. Because everybody deserves happiness. But I believe say, some people, them depend upon people for them happiness. And that is where the problem come in. Nobody cannot make you happy. People can make you feel happy. But you have to be happy within yourself. You have to be happy within yourself. You have to. You have to find and create your own happiness. When you create your own happiness, then you can deal with life. And you soon we live in a denial. You see, denial is one of the biggest diseases ever. Denial. Denial. Is one of the biggest disease. A lot of us are living in denial. And we can't have 40 and 50 and 30 at year old and still a talk about shoulda, woulda, coulda. Things what we do when we are teenagers, when we are pick flowers. So we are 
she loves me. She loves me not. And I write love letter when we are when we are 14 and 15. Them days are done. Right, Tommy? Them days are done. A lot of us are afraid to start over because we say we invest so much. But if you're not happy, if you're not happy with the person, you're miserable every day. You're miserable every day. And you finally find the peace and the strength and everything to walk away. That's the first form of therapy when you walk away. Because remember, you've been with this person for so long, you don't know how to do nothing back for yourself. We you are share. Sure? See, remember, you know, a whole heap of man mentally mash up. Because he used to there with that woman and the woman. He have the woman as him light. He have the woman as him art, him soul, him everything. The man might not come out and talk because a woman not always tell you for them side of the story. But man got through all of these things mentally break down because you have some man that's work for just to take care of the woman and the family. She gave him all five jacket. All five jacket she gave him and him still forgive her and love her. Because you always hear them tell you, say, hell has no fury like a woman's scorn. Them always say that. So what to a man's scorn? What about a man's scorn? What when a man is scorn? You see, healing, I am no doctor. But I believe in self-healing. We have to start the healing process sometime. It's like when somebody dies. And you have the grieving. Then you have the coping. That is how we start heal. When we start cope, learn to cope. Learn to cope that this person is no longer treated like a, some, like a person who is living the same way. You remember them every now and then. But you have to cope. You have to move on. Because them now come back no care what. Right? That's how life go. It's like for instance. None of us have big, have big kids. And we still treat them like. Some like a 12 year old and 10 year old. We now look for with big, big kids them. And I know so them have to live them life. Or if you tell your 25 year old son or your 25 year old daughter. Oh, you can't do that in a no way yeah, do I you start talking to them certain way and deal with them like they were 10. Don't do that. Remember, them are take care of themselves now. They must spend them own money now. They must pay them own bills now. You have to deal with them like man or woman now. You don't deal with them like them and on a boy. We as parents have to know when to let go. Because when Basa will bring them thus far so they can be great. We bring them and then we still are going like we want all them and you have to know when to let go them on. You guide them and if they come to you, that's why I tell you, say, start from a smaller age where you sit down with your son or you sit down with your daughter. Teach them how to express themselves. Because when them want to say something to but man, but them, shut up your mouth! Don't speak! And you load them up and go on. Right away, you kill them self esteem. Then when them not talk, oh, you not talk, talk to me and let me know where I go on. So you confuse them. So them grow confused. You turn them into a confused individual. Because you don't teach them how to express themselves. Expressing yourself starts within the home. That means when them go to school and the teacher call them to the front of the class and say, Andre, expound on what is the meaning of LT. What do they mean when they say LT? What do they mean when they say someone is strong, Andre? Andre is supposed to go up there and say, well, miss, when somebody say that you're strong and him express himself and you can't believe how oh, he attack so strong because him learned that time yard. When him them yard and one of the parents that treat him like a little fish. And I treat him like some little girl. He might go go to the back like a little girl. Congratulate him and scold him. That is the way 
how it's supposed to go. If him do something wrong, school him. Me never say beat him to death. Me say school him. School him. You can't talk to him. And <laughs>